hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to just go ahead and quickly show you guys some of the new places to level uh, in Act 9 and Act 10. Because for those of you guys who are unaware, uh, Act 5, or Act, sorry, Act 4, Dry Lake is level 34. And it would just simply be extremely, uh, you know, unethical to try to get to level 70 before maps in Dry Lake now. So the first place I want to show you is a lower level zone, which I think has higher density, which is called the Blood Aqueduct. And it's the first place in Act 9. So what this is, is it's basically just regular aqueduct, but with insane ramped up density. And of course, guaranteed blue packs that you can find. Now, I did make a video going over this before. Uh, it's in my previous video, which is my day one progression. But I figured I'd make a separate video just to show you guys um, this separately. Now, one thing to note is in this area, you can also farm humility cards. And humility cards are really good because they work for Tabula Rasa. And Tabula Rasa is, can pretty much be sold in hardcore and softcore leagues. Um, hardcore leagues specifically all the time. Uh, so that's always like a good incentive to farm in this area. And it's just overall like not too bad of density. Now, uh, just like the previous area here for Aqueduct, inside this Aqueduct in the Blood Aqueduct, there are always going to be guaranteed blue packs on the left and right sides of the map whenever there's like an indent. So let me go ahead and kill this Harbinger guy and I can go ahead and show you. All right, so there should be an area here on the right, most likely, coming up. Okay, so anytime... Oh, just kidding, that's not it. All right, any any time now? No? All right, well, it, um, okay, let's just rerun it because it tried to skamaz me. I probably missed it at the beginning, uh, but let me just try to reset it again. Actually, I can just go this way. Here. Let's see. It is quite a bit of blue packs. Like this is what, three or four, four blue packs? Five blue packs that I found already. There's another Harbinger guy. Is that an Exalt Shard? It was an exalt shard. That feels good, man. Does this place not have the, the branch out at all like it used to? Maybe this one doesn't have it. Or maybe it's just based off the layout because I was like 90% sure that when I was leveling, uh, I was taking the side paths. Well, basically, there's like a side path you'll see an extension kind of like branching out like past here or like branching out past here or branching out past here. And when you're in one of those areas, you can actually get uh, a guaranteed blue pack that's pretty much on the corner there. Let me see if we can maybe run to the end here. Oh, look, the Rainbow RF MTX is back, guys. Remember, if you want to buy this MTX, you can find it on pathofexile.com uh, forward slash uh, rainbow butterfly. All right, for some reason, it's just not popping up. Don't worry, man, we'll just edit that out. So with the power of editing, we're now in the uh, new place. So in this new place, um, this is basically a remake of the, where is it here? The uh, Chamber of Innocence, but it's a higher level version. So this is actually the Desecrated Chambers. And in this one, I won't get skamas, so I can, I can show you guys, don't worry. So in this place, uh, the reason why I like this one is one, there's kind of two ways to level in it, and I don't know the most efficient way. There's like the inner way and the outer way. So the outer way would be like going through here, you can see there's a blue pack here, uh, a bunch of mob density. And this would be the outer path, where instead of sticking on the inside here, you'd basically cover all of the outer uh, and go around like this. But I don't know, like I said before, which way is the more optimal way to go. I'm gonna assume the inner way would be better, but I noticed the outer way does also have quite a bit of blue packs. And this would be like the inner way, for example, right? Like you could just kind of skip. Oh, just kidding. Maybe you can't properly go the inner way. <laughs> These new zones are complicated. Still feels bad. Let's see. Oh, 
I mean, I guess basically the main thing is you have to figure out if you want to come up here to like to like fight the mobs or if you want to just rush towards the end. And the reason why I say rush towards the end is because there is a guaranteed triple blue pack spawn at the end of this map guaranteed. So actually, here's here's an example of inner, right? Yeah, I can skip like that outside area, for example. Right? Oh no, yeah, okay, see, so it does work. So you can skip like the whole part. Yeah, alright, no, no, it's fine. And then you could come in. Alright, so this is the end. So there's going to be a guaranteed blue pack in the middle here, which you can see is kind of flooding out. There's always a guaranteed blue pack in the left-hand corner, right over here. And there's also a guaranteed blue pack in the right-hand corner, although these were small packs. But it's pretty cool because if you get towards the end, there's always guaranteed blue packs. Now, the cool thing is, like I was saying before, is you can decide if you want to stick to the inner side. So, like, the waypoint is what? Right over here? So you can just hug the inner wall, right? And kind of just not ever really go on this upside and you could just rush till you get the guaranteed blue packs or you could take the longer the longer approach and full clear kind of each area up here you know travel through up here i really don't know which one is the best for you uh, but these are areas that i personally chose to level um and um you know being as when you're in hardcore sometimes you need to farm some extra gear sometimes you want to make sure that your resistance cap so these are the places that i chose to level in, and they're honestly pretty solid um, it was pretty decent XP. The the abundancy of blue packs is very good for the you know bonus drops uh, and pretty much everything else. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of information for the new 3.0 Harbinger League. If you guys liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.